Hey, it's Gaussmas here, and welcome back to our playthrough of Shenmu. Let's go. Hey, so here we are, just about to go to bed after a hard day's work last time. Uh, so we did our first afternoon's work in the last episode, and we're trying to kind of hang around the docks where we can hopefully get some information on the Mad Angels. A gang that we think are working with Landy. We know. Morning. My new job starts today. Yes, it does. We know Chai's involved with them, the guy who ate our ticket in the arcade. Right, so as I said, men mentioned last time, from now on, you just instantly zoom to the, um, to the dock straight away as soon as you wake up. Saves you walk, you know, you've got to go to work now, so it saves you walking through the Brita and all that stuff. Make sure you get to work on time. And Mark wanted us to turn up early, didn't he? Which sounded a bit ominous. And this is why he wants us to turn up early. So we can start the day off with a bang. Good morning, everyone. Morning. Time for a daily warm-up race. You all do your best now. Yeah. yeah. Like always, three laps to the finish. Everybody ready? And don't go wrecking the fourth lift <laughs> or the formula have your ass. Yeah. yeah. On your mark. Almost time to go. Ready, go! Hey, you didn't expect to see this in Shenmue, but a forklift racing. Yeah, so each day of your work day, you kind of start it with a bang, with a bit of a forklift race. So there's five of us, and you get a little, do you know, do you know the little capsule? Oh! Yeah, it doesn't handle that well. <laughs> um, or it doesn't turn that well, rather. You really have to kind of start turning way before you want to. Um, yeah, so the, the, you know those capsule toys that we collect? When you kind of finish this race, you get a capsule toy of a little forklift truck. And you'll either get a forklift that says one, two, three, or four, or five, depending on where you came in the race. So, obviously, there's five different... There's, you know, there's five people in the race, so there's five different positions you could come in. So, I always try to get one of each, because if you get one of each... Um, it's, you know, it's like a full set, um, which will come in handy in Shemu 2, all will be explained soon. So yeah, I try and kind of do the best I can early in the week, and that way there's less pressure on me to do good later in the end of the week. So I'm going to try and win. <laughs> Would help if I go around corners. Oh, bit rusty. Oh no! Yeah, you just come to like a dead stop if you hit a wall, which I guess to be fair is exactly what would happen if you drove a forklift into a wall. So, um, come on, we're third, I don't know if we're going to win it today. Um, yeah, so we're going to be doing this every single day, obviously I'm not going to make you watch it every day because it is samey, but uh, we'll see where we can come on the first day. You've got to love that music though, haven't you? <laughs> come on. Ragging it down the straight. Uh, I mean, we're getting a whopping 35 kilometers an hour here. I didn't even know. Oh, look at that. Cut inside. Perfect. Yeah, I didn't think you could get that, these kind of speeds out of a forklift truck. Oh, no. Go on. No. All right, come on. Coming up to the final, uh, well, the end of the final lap. Don't know if we're gonna catch him. I mean, I don't mind. I'll take second. I'll take second, and then we can get first on another day. The other good thing about this, I guess, I don't know if that was kind of why they did it, or I mean, they, I guess they've done it for a bit of fun. But I don't know if one of the kind of ulterior motives of doing this was this. But the good thing about the, doing this race is that it kind of inadvertently gets you to learn the layout Fish. of the whole harbour. Second. It's okay. Oh man, so close. You almost had it. Here's your prize. Thanks. Thank you. Forklift number two. Let's try and get... Time for work. Let's get cracking. Try and get number one next time. Oh. 
from today, welcome. I'll do my best. Time to get to work. Move these crates with the forklift. Where do I take them? Warehouse number 18. Here's the route map. The quota's written on the map. Read it carefully. If you exceed quota, you'll get a raise. Great. Just be sure you don't break anything. <laughs> okay? I'll try. So how do we get the map up? There we go. So here is our map. And we've got to get a 10 crates minimum. Or well, 10 crates if we want to get a pay rise. So this one is pretty straightforward. The first few days are, I mean, they're all kind of easy. But the first few days you should definitely be, I think, completing every single crate. You've got plenty of time. So there we go. I'm going to show you the route once or twice and then we'll uh, I'll zoom ahead because I'm sure no one wants to watch me um, take forklift like forklift crates around the place all day. But yeah, so all sorts of things are going to happen. Obviously, we're going to have lunch breaks. Um, so it's not this all day. So we start about, what time is it now? Half, half ten it is. And I think at 12 o'clock we have a lunch break. And various different things happen. Sometimes you just chat with your mates. You can go to the arcade. You can or well not the arcade, you can go to the shop which has a dart machine in it, you can buy some capsule toys and of course, don't forget why we're here, the real reason we're here is to try and kind of meet up with the members of the Mad Angels and try and find out more about them so along the way we are going to bump into some Mad Angels because we know they have a fancy for um, harassing the new the new kind of dock workers and we are the new kid so, I'll uh, do this and then I'll let you know when it's lunchtime. Right, look at this. We've got a serious dent in the uh, in the crates for the morning. So I'm just going to drop off this last crate before lunch. If we can make it just in time. Go on. Ah! Only got a couple of minutes. There we go. We just about made it. So we're not going to make another one now. I think it is 12 o'clock lunch. We'll soon find out. There we go. There's time, eh? it's the siren for lunch. Ah, Mark. Oh. It's that music. We know something bad's going on. Hey, my lunch! You ratted us out, didn't you? Are you one of Chin's men? I don't know any Chin. Oh! Oh, really? I don't know. Oh. Hey, quit lying! Ah. Cut it out! What? Who's this twin? We're gonna teach you a lesson! Go for it, punks. Ah. Yes! Finally, I've, <laughs> I've got a free battle where I haven't been <laughs> screwed over by the camera angle. Yes! <laughs> I can really appreciate it now. Wow! Let's see if we can give him... Oh! Cheeky monkey. Let's give him a throw. Have some of that. Hiya! Yeah, so they think that, Master, that Mark has kind of ratted them out. So I guess these are the Mad Angels? Or, or some of them, anyway. And he thinks he's working for Master Chen. Oh, remember this. You do that. Don't be bothering my mate again. Thank you, Dio. Who were they? They were the Mad Angels. Why are the Mad Angels picking on you? They seem to think I'm working with one of their enemies. Somebody called Chen. But I don't know him. Master Chen and the Mad Angels. Hmm. Okay, so Master Chen is an enemy of uh, of the Mad Angels. Master Chen and the Mad Angels are rivals. But where are the Mad Angels? Right, so we've got some time to kill around lunch. So as I say, we could go and... Um, we could do all sorts. We could go and play some darts. We could go buy some capsule toys. There is a... 
warehouse around here that I'll show you. I think it's number four. Number four. Where you can train. I believe this is the one. Uh, so, this, if this is the one, then that's what I'll do for this kind of lunchtime. Maybe I can practice here. Yes. I think I'll warm up a bit. Let's go for it. Okay, let's go. Stealing my phrases there. <laughs> um, yeah, so, you know, we need to uh, get tough enough to beat Landy, don't we? we uh, we've got a lot of training to do, especially after how much you saw how much we got battered by Chai. Got a long way to go if we want to beat Landy. Gotta keep fresh. Back to work. Back to work it is then. That was the longest lunch time ever. 12 till 2. Everywhere I've worked, you're lucky if you get an hour. Warehouse number 18. Okay. Yep, thanks for that reminder, Audio. <laughs> and we have still got the map in case you totally forgot after your lunch break. Oh, seems I forgot how to drive a forklift though. Yep, so we are going to finish off these boxes and then find out some more about the Mad Angels, hopefully. So, I don't know, like, the race, the, obviously Mr. Master Chen is rivals with the Mad Angels, so maybe he can give us some information. So maybe I'll give him a phone call after work, see what's going down. But let's get these crates finished off. There's not too many more left, so we're definitely going to... We've smashed the quota already. Quota was 10. And I'll have a little kind of estimate <laughs> when we go around there again. See how many we've done. But I reckon it, it's way over 10 already. Um, so we've smashed 10, but I'm pretty sure we're going to comfortably do every single crate there. Uh, so what is it? It's kind of... Uh, Two rows of five at the back, so that's ten. Plus the other ones, fourteen we've done so far. Smashing it. We're a hard worker, me and Rio. Or me, or whatever. <laughs> However you want to refer to it. Um, yeah, I never kind of mess about in this. I always kind of set myself little challenges and just try to do the absolute most that I can. Um, and all this money comes in handy. We're going to make big bucks doing this job. Um, as long as you work hard. Um, and then we'll be able to buy anything we could possibly want. Right, so let's get these crates finished. Oh, hang on a minute, what's going on here? Oh, they're back. Hey, boy. You working hard, eh? What? You ain't paid your insurance. That ain't right. Law of the Harbor dictates all rookies gotta pay insurance. You know what I'm saying? What insurance? I said pay up, boy. Right now. You guys mad angels? Defiance ain't a good idea. You don't pay up, boy. I'm gonna kick your ass. No way. <laughs> Go for it. You are gonna regret that decision. I wouldn't be so sure. Let's get him! Wallop! Oh, okay. <laughs> that's the CI, I love that move. Oh, wow. Damn it! That's how you take All him right, down. you guys. <laughs> no! Uh, hey, wait! <sighs> We need, the, we need the information from them. Yeah, so I've been training that move quite a lot. It's one of my favorite moves in the whole game. In fact, it possibly may be my favorite move. Um, it's so great for kind of crowd control. You know, when you get surrounded by people, you can just whip that out and just take down a whole chunk. I didn't expect to kill, <laughs> kill them all in one hit. Maybe they were just pretty weak punks. Um, but yeah, it's a really great move. So I've been training that a load in the... Uh, in my training sessions. Right, last crate of the day, yeah. Whoa! So our quota was only 10, and we have done the full 20. And that work will not go unnoticed. So, because we've met our quota, we at the moment we get 300 yen per... Um, 300 yen per crate that we deliver. But, uh, oh! Because we've met quota, we're going to get... Um, 
pay rise. So we'll get tomorrow, we'll get 350 yen per crate. We've got no crates left now. Got a bit of time to waste. Yeah, so we'll get 350 yen per crate from tomorrow. And of course, the more crates you do, the more you get paid anyway. So yeah, I'm going to hang around, go for a little drive around. Because uh, there's not much else you can do until 5 o'clock. Right. Finished for the day. There's the siren for the end of the day, 5 o'clock. I think we need to go see the foreman now and uh, tell him how we got on. Here we go. Okay, good job. Here's today's pay. Thanks. You met quota, son. So starting tomorrow, you'll get a 50 yen raise. That'll be 350 yen per crate. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Yeah, 6,000 quid we made that. Oh, you know what that music means. Hats off to the hard-working man! Oh. <laughs> you said you knew a lot about the harbor. Right on, my man! From the perfect mugging locale to the best spot to take a leak! This here harbor, Goro knows it all! So you know about the Mad Angels. Uh, I, speaking of taking a leak, <laughs> not so fast. Oh, man, must have had me a bad ache this morning. Gotta hit the can, my man. Oh, hope I can make it in time. Oh, so you know about them. Bro, that name, please don't say it so loud. Why not? You get yourself fed to the fishes for talking about them, man. It's taboo around here! There's a rumor about some loudmouth kid who got himself concrete boots for talking! Oh, no way. Well, bro, I'm out of here. See you around. Yeah, later. Right, it's taboo then. No, oh, hello, what have we got going on here? Zang. What is it with attacking me? It's supposed to be my bodyguard. You never know when to give up, do you? What do you want? I'm here to teach you a new move. Like that'll be real helpful. <laughs> you couldn't even handle the mad angels. Much less take on Landy. Shut up. Look, I don't need your help. Hey, fine by me. But it's wise to accept the goodwill of others. So, what will it be? You are mine or not? Of course, let's be gracious. Well, if you're so eager to teach me, okay. You could be more appreciative. Yeah. First, I'll show you the form. Watch. One step back, shift your weight. While backing up, kick! This is called a swallow dive. Smooth. Now you try it. Whoa. First time. Hmm. That's fine. I see you've learned the basic form. I've got it now. You have yet to master the move. Perhaps you should practice more. Yeah, I'll practice that in my own time. No, that's enough. Fine, I won't push you any harder. You've only learned the basic movement. You'll need to practice to master it. Leg wolf, swallow dive, mastered. Although as you just said, we haven't mastered it. We've, learned, <laughs> we've just learned the basics.
Why teach me that move? You're intent on going to Hong Kong, right? Yeah. Even knowing that you may die? No matter what. So I thought. If I were you, I'd do the same. That's why. Gui Zhang understands. He gets our need for vengeance. Even if he does think we're a bit mad. Right, so I'm going to hang around the harbour for a little bit longer before going home to bed. Because we, I, there's a little kind of meeting that you can have with, you know, the old homeless guy? There's a little meeting you can have with him again. And we're going to chat to him quite a lot. He's one of my favourite characters, actually. Outside of the kind of the main people. Um... Yeah, we're going to chat to him, but I don't think you can meet him until 7 o'clock when it kind of becomes night time. So I'm just going to hang around for about half an hour. Alright, so I decided to get a few capsule toys while we were wasting some time. I'll have to show off my capsule toy collection very soon. But it's 7pm now, so it should have just turned to night time. So I think, where is he? Or he might be round the other warehouse. Remember, he likes to... That was the first place we found him. All the way over the other side of the docks. So I'm going to have a look there just to make sure he's not there. Oh, here we go. I think this is here. Yeah. <laughs> Been waiting for you. Oh, it's you. What are you doing here? Wanna pay you back for helping me out. Aww. Teach you something useful. Suppose I show you rather than tell you. Let's see you try and punch me. <laughs> me? Punch you? <laughs> Quit your babbling and punch. You call that a punch? <laughs> That'll be the famous Hazuki style. How do you know the Hazuki style? If you really want to know, give me your best shot. Come on, let's go. Okay then, here we go. Oh, cheeky monkey. He's got some skills. Why am I missing? This was a real fight. I just crushed your throat. How did you do that? There's more to mastery than offense. Evasion without getting hit is an art in itself. My sensei used to call this move the shadow step. Shadow step? So, how about it, son? Wanna learn it? Yeah, definitely. I always want to learn more from an old master. Yes, please teach me. First off, show me that their basic Hazuki style stance. All right. Hmm, that ain't too bad. <laughs> now come and do what I do. We'll see a step forward. Pull your arms in a slide real quick. Once you slide up behind, cut a blow to the neck like so. Now, start from your basic stance. Move your weight forward one step only. Okay. Something like that. As you step forward, get ready to dodge and throw. Now, your turn. Ooh. 
There we go. Smooth. Hmm. Right nice. You're a quick studier. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you very much. Got that touch you do. How about a bit more practice? Sorry, dude. Got a place to be. No, I think I'm all right. Thank you for the instruction. Well, don't go forgetting to practice every day. Perhaps we'll meet again. Perhaps. Please wait. How do you know about the Hazuki style? The Hazuki names known amongst martial artists. The style of Iwao Hazuki is revered by many, including me. Wow. Quite popular in spite of being so young he was. <laughs> My father? If you knew that move, why not use it that day? Mm. No sense in fighting. Sometimes uh, a clean getaway is also victory. <laughs> need practice in the day, try warehouse number four. Sometimes I'll be there myself. Oh. Be sure and practice daily. We certainly will be practicing daily. There's quite a few moves. Shadow Step, mastered. Yeah, there's quite a few big fights towards the end of the game, so we want to get our moves as strong as possible. Right, it's nine o'clock. We've had a hard day's work. We've learned a few new moves. Find out, a, Found out a little bit more about the Mad Angels. So I think it's time to head home and get some sleep. Ah, oh, we got to wait for the bus. <laughs> right, okay. Let's find out what day it is. I guess it must be a weekday if we're working. I assume we don't work weekends. No, no, we do work weekends. It's I should go home. Yes, I'm aware of that. <laughs> it's Saturday, which means it's coming at quarter past. Okay, we've got a little bit of a wait. Right, it's 10 p.m. We're going to get to sleep and we're going to end the episode there. So we found out a little bit more about the Mad Angels. Well, hopefully, we're going to find out even more next time. So thanks for watching, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Don't be bothering my mate again. <laughs>